We rounded up 10 of the best flagship impact wrenches from Milwaukee, Flex, DeWalt, Rigid, Ryobi, Skill, Hilti, Cobalt, Makita, and Metabo HPT, and we're gonna compare them all in one video. But first, let's take a look at each competitor, starting with this, Milwaukee's premium M18 fuel mid-torque model, the 2962. Using Milwaukee's latest generation of M18 fuel mid-torque impact wrenches, we're getting the performance that helps us avoid having to use their heavier high torque models. You get fastening torque up to 550 foot-pounds and up to 650 foot-pounds of nut busting torque. When you're working on passenger vehicles, this one impact wrench can replace the need for heavier high torque models pretty much 95% of the time. Even for heavy equipment and diesel mechanics, you're gonna be able to handle a ton of work, aside from maybe those oversized lug nuts. At the same time, this impact wrench is incredibly compact, especially given how much power you have. This tool's just six inches in length, and it weighs right around five pounds with a five amp hour battery. You can get these wrenches in a 3 8 inch friction ring, half inch friction ring, or half inch pin detent style. Next up is DeWalt, and this is their second generation, very impressive DCF 891 impact wrench. The DCF 891 comes as the DCF 892 if you opt for the pin detent model. But either way, you're gonna get 600 foot-pounds of fastening torque and around 800 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. That's 82% more fastening torque and 33% more nut-busting torque than the DCF 894, the previous model, which is a fairly impressive jump in performance, especially considering that it falls at roughly the same price point. When it comes to control, DeWalt replaced the three button mechanical switch at the base of the tool with a four mode push button system. I actually really like the electromechanical switch, but that fourth mode now gives you a precision wrench setting. When fastening in this mode, the tool runs around 2000 RPM until it begins impacting. It then pauses for a half second before moving on. This reduces the chance of over tightening your nut or your bolt or damaging your material. It also prevents runoff when used in reverse. As we saw in our testing, the upgraded performance and the features in this impact wrench make it a legit contender. Makita jumps into the field with their 40 volt product, the XGT GWT07. Sporting 560 foot-pounds of fastening torque and 810 foot-pounds of breakaway, Makita's flagship impact is the strongest performer we've seen in the mid-torque class. It's also a control freak. It has four standard speeds plus three forward and three reverse assist modes. Much like the XDT-16 impact driver, that makes it a bit more complicated to use. But you can't have these types of advanced features without some level of complexity. Makita added a flexible joint to help absorb some of the vibration before it gets to the battery. At 6.7 inches, it's not quite as compact as some of the other models, but I think most pros aren't gonna mind adding a little extra length for the additional power that you get. Given that this is a 40 volt tool, we'll see how that translates into power when it's compared against the other cordless impact wrenches. Now we got Flex's first generation mid-torque impact wrench, the FX1451. Like a skilled bartender, Flex serves up its impact wrench with a nice combination of flavors. You get top tier power combined with above average build quality. And then they mix in a price that's lower than most of the competition. This 24 volt half inch mid-torque impact wrench makes for a tasteful blend of function, form, features, and value. It also matches or exceeds the power present in most mid-torque cordless impacts with 600 foot-pounds of fastening torque and around 750 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. The speed tops out at 2700 RPM in mode three, and there's an assist mode for both forward and reverse. Like Makita and some others, Flex added an isolation zone between the housing and the motor to help reduce felt vibration in your hand when using the tool. One of the few downsides is that this tool is heavier and not quite as compact as its closest competitors. If you're working any industrial products, this next one might be for you. This is Hilti's SIW622 impact wrench. By adding a brushless motor and shifting to the Neuron platform, Hilti's Power Class half inch impact wrench drops some serious size and weight. While there are other options in the same size range with higher overall torque, this tool is purpose built for industrial construction applications. And the housing looks durable to handle and survive tough environments. Just don't drop it off a high rise. The 622 is able to shed an impressive amount of size and weight while still maintaining the speed and torque numbers that we expect from a pro level impact wrench. And what do I mean by that? Well, look at the older SIW 22A. They put out the same 332 foot pounds, but that tool weighs almost a pound more and it measures an extra two inches in length. This tool seems built to last, plus Hilti backs it with a 20 year warranty with two years of free service and a one day turnaround on repairs, so you can stay productive. 
Another beefy entry to our list is this, the Metabo HPT WR36DE. With four standard speeds and four forward assist modes, the WR36DE features 774 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque and 568 foot-pounds of fastening torque, which is up there with the best impact wrenches that we've tested. But what good is high torque if you run out of battery life? And that's what makes the Metabo HPT impact wrench so unique. It's the only tool in our field that's compatible not only with the 36 volt multivolt batteries, but also an AC adapter. So if you need more runtime, just plug in an extension cord and forget about it. Headlining the DIY brands in this video is the Ryobi P262 impact wrench. With this model, Ryobi puts out 450 foot-pounds of fastening torque and 600 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. You also get a 2800 RPM top speed, and it has three modes, plus an auto mode to give you more control when fastening or loosening nuts. This impact wrench settles nicely into the mid-torque class, and it seems perfectly suitable for use on passenger vehicles, including breaking loose some pretty corroded bolts. Plus, you're going to save a pretty penny over the more pro-targeted brands. You can find this next mid-torque impact wrench exclusively at Home Depot, the Rigid R86012. Now that we've left the Octane line and branding behind, Rigid has the compact, mid-torque, and high-torque classes covered with its latest generation of brushless impact wrenches. Each earns my recommendation, but if I had to pick just one, it'd be the mid-torque R86012. Its balance of size and 500 foot-pounds of fastening torque with 650 foot-pounds of loosening torque is all you're gonna need in most cases, with an assist mode to supplement the three standard modes where you've got some additional control as well. This one is suitable for serious DIYers, hobby mechanics, landscaping professionals doing frequent blade changes, and pros on a budget. If you shop at Lowe's, you just want a good value solution for a mid-torque impact wrench, check out Cobalt's 24-volt Max solution. On paper, Cobalt's brushless motor produces 500 foot-pounds of fastening torque and 650 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque. The max no-load RPMs, 950 on low to 1500 on medium and 2200 on high. Cobalt did a great job keeping the speed and torque control simple on this impact wrench. There's a small control panel at the base of the handle with two buttons that lets you easily cycle through the standard and assist modes. It'll handle nearly anything you come across and the price is awfully tempting for pros on a tight budget. Now let's take a look at Skill's flagship mid-torque impact wrench. Skill claims up to 480 foot-pounds of fastening torque and 800 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. All that with a maximum impact rate of 3,950 impacts per minute. Under the hood, the brushless motor spins at up to 1,900 RPM. And like most modern cordless impact wrenches, you get an LED light. But this tool includes a diffused halo-style light that surrounds the anvil. We love it. It's a much more effective lighting method than foot-mounted lights. Now that we laid out who made our list for our top picks, let's talk about how we tested and also what we look for in a cordless impact wrench. We ran three performance tests with each of these impact wrenches to compare the torque, speed, and efficiency claims that we see from manufacturers. The first test is a straight up torque test using our L1000 inertia torque tester. We run the impacts at three intervals of five seconds each and take the highest torque reading from the calibrated machine. The second test helps us see how far each tool can drive a half inch by 10 inch lag screw into stacked and glued OSB. We run each tool for 30 seconds and measure just how much of the bolt is left proud. The final performance test is a traditional bolt breaking application. We use a digital torque wrench and set each nut on our rig to 500 foot-pounds of torque and then we break all eight nuts, compiling an average removal time from the five most consistent times. Well that's how we test it and we'll share all that data and charts near the end of the video. But there's more to look out for when buying an impact wrench. Whether you're fastening or loosening nuts or bolts, power is the name of the game for cordless impact wrenches. The more power you have, the more chance you have of getting the fastener moving quickly and not straining the tool or the motor. Speed is secondary, but still important. If you're in construction or landscaping where you're running long timber screws and stuff like that, you're gonna to wanna to run those as quickly as you can while keeping them under control. Once you know how much power you need, finding it in the smallest, lightest package you can get without giving up on quality is really high on my list. Most impact wrenches are much heavier than impact drivers, and the vibration and the noise of the tools, it can get old really quick. The best cordless impact wrenches in any category pay close attention to their power to weight ratio. Smart controls such as Milwaukee One Key, DeWalt's Tool Connect, and Bosch Connected Tools all have added benefits as well. Inventory management and tracking are the major highlights, but there's a lot more inside the apps that are worth considering as well. Now you've seen our picks and all the factors that let us choose them, but before we crown a winner, let's take a look at everyone's favorite part of the video, the charts. 
We compiled all the manufacturer specs, as well as our testing data, into a series of charts, so feel free to pause and take a screenshot if you'd like to save the info for later. After comparing all the specs and running through our hands-on testing, the best overall impact wrench is the Milwaukee 2962 M18 fuel half-inch mid-torque. Even though it didn't have the most torque, it was near the very top and its incredibly compact form factor make it one of the nicest tools to use. From the short 6-inch head length to the low weight, this tool almost defies logic in how much torque it delivers in such a compact package. One of its close competitors, the DeWalt DCF891, is over an inch longer and five ounces heavier. The five-year warranty just puts the cherry on top. Well, there you have it. If you're a pro in the market for a new cordless impact wrench, Milwaukee is number one. But keep in mind, we picked all these tools for a reason. We think every one of them is a viable choice to help you get the job done. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more tool reviews and head-to-head -head comparisons. And as always, thanks for watching.